All right, Chris Bobolis from Acid Mammoth. Thanks for being on, man. Hey, mate. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to finally have you on. I've been a big fan of Acid Mammoth for a long time. And uh, we're going to look at some album covers today. We're going to do Real or Fuzz. So I'm going to put up um, 10 album covers, and you're going to tell me if they are real or fuzz. And then I'll give you an opportunity to make a few of your own there at the end. Okay, sure. Right on. Let's go. So the first one, it's called Megapus. Okay. <laughs> well, I I try not to underestimate the capacity of the human mind to come up with the weirdest stuff imaginable. So I'll go with real. <laughs> this one is real. And yeah. fun fact, I own this album. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in high school, I was at like a like a resale shop or something, and I just bought it on the cover just for the cover alone. And uh, I don't really, really remember what it sounds like, but um, I don't think it was that bad. Okay. All right. Maybe. Album number two. Okay. Grave Robber. Grave Robber. Idle Hands are the Devil's Playground. That's a rad cover, too. Yeah. I guess it's real. I mean, the, the artwork is really well done, and I'll this go with one... real. This one is fuzz. I made this one. Ah, I didn't make the artwork, but I made the album cover out of it. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> I can't take credit. Cool for the name artwork. too. Uh, yeah. A band called Grave Robber. That would, yeah, that sounds I'm rad. <laughs> <laughs> Just an idea to think about. Yeah. Don Perkins, songs for my wild woman. Songs for my wild woman. Why? <laughs> why is uh, a head? Why is he stepping on a head? <laughs> No way this is real, mate. <laughs> I'll go with fast with this one. No All right, way. this one this one is fast, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kingsley Buckner. <laughs> Just you and me. Nice. Look how cute look how cool he is. I mean, he's <laughs> giving his seat to the teddy bear and he's I know. Just he's a good guy. I'll go with real. <laughs> this one is real, actually. Is and real. I found it interesting that they Spelled U with just the letter U. I thought that was a weird choice for an album cover, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of weird choices for this album cover, actually. Yeah, maybe the U has a meaning. Yeah. Peace on. on. <laughs> Cold world. Yeah. No, no way, no way. There is an album like that album. Peace on. This is but, a real album. This is yeah, a real album. Exactly. That's what. The, that's what I was about to say. That. Part of me is like, no way. But there's another part of me that's like, uh, maybe there is one out there like that. <laughs> there are no limits in metal. I yeah. found lots of uh, stuff that I never thought I would see on some of these album covers. <laughs> <laughs> the crabs. The crabs. <laughs> the logo is like a cereal logo. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast cereal. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. I'll go with uh, fast in this one for sure. This, this one is fast. Yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm jogging. I'm jogging. The <laughs> veterans. By the veterans. I really hope I can jog too in his age. Uh, that would make a cool vinyl cover for sure. Vintage vinyl. I can definitely imagine this record hidden in some vintage record store forgotten by time you know with dust on it i'll go with real <laughs> this one's real oh this is real yeah. okay <laughs> acid trip dark side of the back side trip. <laughs> see nice world play dark side <laughs> of the back side yeah no there is a band called acids trip Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know any band called Acid Trip, let alone one where acid is not acid, yeah. <laughs> per se. <laughs> this looks like uh, there is this awesome uh, Instagram profile called Bats and Doom. I can definitely imagine this being yes, there is. Yes, there is. one of its posts. I'll go with Fast with this one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're right. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks awesome. I may have taken this photo from Butts and Doom. I don't remember. <laughs> I like the vertigo swirl. 
in yeah. the background. Yeah. Big Black songs about fucking <laughs> includes he's a whore. Includes he's a whore. <laughs> this looks more like a book cover than an actual it record. Does. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a small book, you know. Yeah. Uh, fast. This one's real. This is real. Yeah. I would love to listen to this one. I know, me too. I haven't I haven't checked this one out yet. All right, last one. Extreme waiting for the punchline. Extreme waiting for the punchline. Uh can't see clearly. Is that a clown? That is a clown. Yep. That's a clown in some uh industrial area. Uh don't know. This looks like some new metal album cover from like the early 2000s or something. I don't know. Extreme. Extreme looks like a brand, uh, like a clothing brand or something. The logo, <laughs> in a way. Yeah. Waiting for the punchline. I think I'll go with Fuzz. This one's real. It, it's real. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I think I thought the Extreme was like um like an 80s rock band or something oh, like really? a like a hair metal or something maybe i could be wrong though i don't i don't know this album but i i know that it's real never heard of them but the logo uh underneath the big one the mm -hmm. phrase waiting for the punchline i thought that this font seemed too easy in a way yeah yeah it's, it's, it's kind of a weird album cover like you can almost tell well, you can really tell that the clown was like photoshopped in there or something. Yeah. It's just kind of strange for, for like a Yeah, it day. looks superficial. It's not immersive, you know. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that was Real or Fuzz. I think you got most of them. Oh, really? Oh, so yeah. I'm going to show you some, some photos that are interesting in their own way. And you can come up with your own Real or Fuzz uh, album covers or, or band names or anything. Okay. So first one is this fellow oh. right here. <laughs> is this guy from immortal or something i don't know <laughs> uh i can come up with a band name and uh sure. okay sure. this one uh i didn't come up with that name but it's a joke uh it's a funny name that relates to some black metal bands i'll go with necroburburum for this one <laughs> nice i like it yeah Songs uh, in the frosty landscape underneath the mystic forest, beneath the fortress of like uh, satanic chanting. Yeah, it's the title. What do you think? He, what do you think he's aiming at? What's what's over there that he's aiming at? <laughs> I don't know. His bandmates, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> maybe. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Nice one. Uh, crab feeder. Crab feeder, I like that. Crab feeder, thrash metal band from. It sounds heavy. Yeah, I like it. But from the two thousands, not the eighties. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ghoul parade. Ghoul parade. Yeah, this is like yeah. it's like an eight. They look like an eighties band, but then like yeah. maybe, maybe they're juggalos or something. Also. Yeah. <laughs> Carnival uh, yeah. <laughs> ghouls. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> there is this uh, there is this uh, profile called Nuns Have No Fun or something that has uh, really? images like that. <laughs> uh, I might have to steal some stuff from there. This needs some thought. This needs a cool name. Uh, non Fatal. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> non Fatal. I'll go with what. Got it. All right, last one. That's awesome. Yeah, I like this <laughs> Look, a lot. Looks like a mixture of like Spy Kids with Forbidden Planet and uh, I don't mm -hmm. know, some 50s movie out there. Right. So, Forbidden Spy Kids. That's what I'll go with. Forbidden Spy Kids. Right yeah. on. All right, that was Real or Fuzz, man. I appreciate you uh, awesome, playing along. Thank so, you so much for having me. So I got to ask you a question. I... I Always wanted to have you on the the podcast mm -hmm. and and talk to you for a long time because I have lots of questions. But we're doing this real or fuzz thing. But I have to ask, since I have a three year old boy, yeah. how do I get my son to join a doom band with me at some point in his life? Uh, you you can do what my father did with me mm -hmm. uh, when 
when he grows up to like uh, nine or ten, uh, have him listen to Sabotage by Black Sabbath. Nice. That's one of my favorites. It's such a mesmerizing experience to listen to that album for the first time ever. That's yeah. It will introduce him to this world of music and yeah. I'm sure you get asked this a lot, but what is it like being in a, a heavy band with your dad of all people? It's Have you guys always gotten along really well or are there moments yeah. where it's tough or well always the father we are father and son, of course. There yeah. will be times when we are father and son and not just bandmates, but we know each other so well. I mean, I learned music because of him and we're we have always been really close. It wasn't just like, ah, oh, he's my dad and that's it. The, our shared uh, interest of music has brought us closer together. So since we both love Sabbath, it's made it really easy for us to play music together and communicate well musically because he has this really old 70s style in his playing since he started playing in the 70s. Well, I grew up, in, I was born in 92 and I have this newer uh, style in my playing this yeah. more contemporary one. So it merges well together and we live closer. Yeah. Uh, and of course, due to our relationship, our relationship, you know, it's much easier to communicate, you know, and be clear with each other, you know, so it works perfectly well. And I could never imagine, at least in this band, I could never imagine working and sharing guitar duty with someone else. No That's way. Awesome. It's very yeah. cool. So tell us what is going on in the world of Acid Mammoth these days. It's been a little while since we've heard anything new. Is there anything new in the works? Or are you playing some dates? Or what do you got planned yep. for the rest of the year? All of it. So uh, we finished uh, a tour last spring, which was followed by a few uh, summer festivals all around Europe. And right now we are at this point in time where we are composing, we are writing new songs for the next album which will be our fourth one and we are taking our time with it we are in no rush to finish it because you know we want to make it as awesome as possible and at the same time enjoy the whole process we don't want to be you know we don't want to be pressured and be, and have this stress to finish it now or tomorrow so yeah. we let it flow we let it we let the process be relaxing and at the same time, yeah, we have lots of shows uh, planned for the rest of 2022. We play, we're playing at Desert Fest Belgium, and we're playing then at two Heavy Psych Sounds Fest in Germany. And also with our brother, 1782, we're playing in Sardinia with them. So we have, we have quite the packed schedule, and it's not going to be any easier next year's because we're we have lots of plans for next year too any plans for the us uh it's one of our major plans going forward while yeah. we are not actively super actively working on it there will we will definitely cross the atlantic uh i don't know when i hope that it's in the immediate future and not the far future so yeah i hope that by 2023 or 2024 that we will be able to finally cross the atlantic and come your way awesome. it would be right it's like a dream come true mate yeah so. yeah i i hope so and I'm, I'm looking forward to some new tunes and uh i love what you guys do so thanks a lot for being on here and, and hanging out for thanks for bit. having me mate really right. appreciate it later cheers mate